Hello everyone, we hope you all are doing well and welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is for the game between the Scorchers and the Stars. Game is going to be played at Optus. So don't look at the last game scorecard and get skewed by what happened at Junction Oval because conditions will be very different. And we have Nikhil Bai with us today to give you more insights on what he feels can actually transpire in such conditions. Yes, it is one of those rare times in the week where you are able to read BBL slightly better. But uh, that is also because of the conditions that are there. I think I am someone who loves when bowlers are in the game far more. It is different for different people. So, if you do what you do, we do it. If you do it, we do it better. So, we are more excited for this match as opposed to any other match that usually happens. Because we feel we are better at selecting bowlers as opposed to selecting batters. So, Let's see how that goes. Hopefully, it's a good game. Or Perth has. So, 140-140. Ashton Turner Zindabad. Yes, hopefully another Avesh Khan moment to end the year. Yes. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> so, venue conditions first up. And if you saw even a bit of how Jai Richardson bowled in the last game, based on those figures, you'll understand that even though he didn't get fantasy points, how effective he was. And bat, the bats were not able to... I saw how Matthew Short played him and he was not able to have any contact bat to ball. So, yes, don't get skewed by the fantasy points that he got in the last game because the value is much more than that. And you can expect the same with a battery set of pace bowlers in both teams. So, I think pace is going to be the ace on this ground too. Absolutely. It's a very good point here. One thing, very good thing to remember is you should not always go by the scorecards. Uh, especially if you're playing recent games. Because if you see somebody like a Kane Richardson as well, he has been bowling very well. But he's still not taken that 3 wicket all or that 4 wicket all. Others are benefiting out of it. But Kane still took 2 in that last game. And I think same is the case with say somebody like a Nathan Ellis. In the bowling, there are many catches drop. Hai. And for Perth, I think it is right. He's bowled maidens up top. He's beaten the bat so often that you feel that he will be able to But the edge has not come or it has not gone to hand. So the thing is, if you're bowling well, you can continue to back such players because that's where you will get returns on investment. So if you feel that this team one is still risky, which is the mini gel team, hai, usme you can still continue to take him and make him your captain because he could any day. Easily take a 3 4, 4 4, or even a 5 wicket all. So, uh, again, and that's just not pertinent to Jai, it could be to anyone. Ty is also taken a lot because Jason Barandoff has also bowled well. So, this venue is SI, and uh, yeah, Trent Bold is also somebody. Jo mujhe lagta hai ke, I don't think he's bowled as well, but I think a 3 4 might still be around for him. Let's see. Yes, so the kind of bowlers that we have discussed in this part should tell you exactly how we envisage this game to be. So, yes, that is a lot of hints for you. Now, let's look at how the base team is set up based on how we actually think these conditions are going to be. So, this is how the base team looks like and we'll go section by section and take you through it. So, in the keeping section, we have gone with Josh Inglis in the batting, Fab Duplessis and Ashton Turner. We have discussed the stars batting on multiple of our previews and touch wood till now. It, that's how it's been for them every time. One batsman here and there has come and scored a few runs. Again, in the last game, it was only Webster. No one from the batting section was able to cross 20 or So, yes, uh, good for fantasy. What else can I say? And in the all-rounders, we have gone with Webster and Stoinis. And the bowlers are every pace bowler that you can see in this section is in this team. And you'll have a few questions, we know. So, why not Agar? Why not Joe Clark? So, if you see the, if you see the conditions, if you see how Jai bowled in the last game, even though the matchup is negative and Joe Clark has dominated him, we feel that Jai will be able to get the better of him. That's why he's our captain. Jason Berendorf has a positive matchup. And Nikhil Bhai also says that Ashton Nagar is slightly overused for these conditions. So, he'll tell you more <laughs> on why he might also be a worthy drop in this one. Yeah, so see, that is, I think, completely going on uh, venue by venue basis. I think they still rate Ashton Nagar highly, which they should. Because Woon ko control leta, he's able to keep the runs down, which then helps them attack with pacers. Yeah. You see, something like Andrew Tai is bowled only in the last and very, very often. 
and last game they did not even use Aaron Hardy. But this game they could use him if Ashton Agar goes for a few up top. So that is the thing with Perth. They have the option. I think to begin with, they will still have Agar. But what you have to remember is people like Ashton Agar, Chris Green. Now, they are the guys who are always defensively good. So they'll give you good points in terms of economy. But at the max, hmm. sometimes they'll take two wickets. On an average, they hmm. take zero to one. So here is where you have to think, ke agar aap kisi aur ko le ra, if you're taking somebody else, will that guy take at least one that qualify as Tanega? And then if he takes more than one, you're always in the positive. So that is the way I look at it. You can look at it in a very different way. And uh, so that is the one logic. And you see, we've dropped both the spinners. Actually, uh, Adam Zappar is very good to be dropped. So you can also consider him if you feel that, you know, Perth will get uh, uh, all out in the second innings if the Stars get a good score. But who will score for them? So because we think Perth are a better side as a whole, um, Zampa ko nahi le rahe, agar pehle bowling bhi kare, you expect them to play out Zampa enough. So that is the logic there. But if you feel that nah, Zampa will still take the wickets, N Chen is back because he's back in the squad. This is the venue where he should do well. Now, again, very interestingly, he's only used in the middle overs this season. He's not being used at the end because they have Luke hmm. Bolt and Trent Bolt. So I'm not saying the role will change, but how you are. Visualizing the game is very important because that's when you can take those risks. We've taken Turner, so we're expecting Zampa to be nullified. So that is how you have to make your picks and your combination. If you think that Joe Clark will be good in the beginning, Baron Jai Richardson will play well, so you can take him and drop one of the opening bowlers completely fair. Call. We've gone with Stoinis hmm. and Webster because in form picks. Stoinis not so much, Webster yes. So again, Webster may not bowl also. If there are enough uh, enough work being done by everybody else, so I think a lot will depend on how you are thinking. So yeah, I think you can make your multiple changes like that. So yes, the common thread that you can see here is us dropping the spinners and backing mm-hmm. middle order battles, whether it's English, Webster, Stoinis, or uh, Turner. Yeah. So we have tried to cover those middle order battles because we feel like they'll be able to nullify the spin. If you feel like any of these spinners will come in the game, then you leave that middle order batter accordingly and uh, hedge the balance of the specific team. So yes, that is the thought process and that is what wraps up the base team for this game. Now let's get to the Grand League options. And before that, we'll get to the game type. Sorry. <laughs> no, I think uh, we, we've discussed this very often. Uh, the reason why we still always mention mini GLs is because this is BBL, because this is 2022. I think that's enough of it for you to uh, not question why mini GLs. For SLs, I think if you are very confident on uh, the combination that you've made, you can always try SLs and combination with, uh, with mini GLs. See, the point with SLs is you have to try and make a combination where at least the SL or mini GLs gives you a decent return. When you have the ideal game, it will be a bumper price. You'll get 10x of your return. But if not, if you if you're trying multiple combinations, you should probably get your investment back at least for one of the two types. And because we have risk zada nahi liya hai, the only risk that we've taken is we've dropped non-performing batters, which is a fair risk to take. But we've dropped spinners, so I think the risk is medium there. You can definitely pick them if you feel they'll come good. So yeah, I think that is fairly uh, obvious call about it. Yes, all the risks taken are based on the conditions and how we expect that point to play out. So yes, that is the thought process. And now let's hear out the Grand League options for the game. Please, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> so yes, the Grand League options for me for this game. Uh, so I was discussing pre-preview with Nikhil Bhai on how I always have this aim towards taking spinners when they bowl in the second innings. And that would be the case if the if these, one of these spinners bowl in the second innings, whether it's Zampa or Hedzoglu, then I'll probably slot out one of the pacers and take the extra spinner. Because generally when you bat in the first innings, even if you're out of form, you're able to play out the spin in the middle overs, but you don't get that luxury in the inner chase. So that might be the tricky phase of the game. So either one of Zampa or Hedzoglu, and if Webster is batting second, then maybe Agar and Hedzoglu. So yes, that is the more than more than a team kind of uh, team kind of GL pick. I'm taking a 
innings based gl pick so yes either one of these guys and i don't want to take a batting gl pick over to you <laughs> very 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 fair call i think in that regards uh, i am going with bowlers hardly surprising but uh, the pick here is if matt can he play some i don't know if he's in the squad so i'll check that uh, we can check that even now if that that's the case so if he plays i felt he could have been a very good option here 17 wickets in 12 matches so that really adds on to you uh, as a very good value pick differential quickly how many bowlers will you take so you can drop one of the regular guys and pick him uh, from he's in the squad he's in the squad so hmm. yeah so good home good memory uh, if memory he plays no no very late very late i saw because see that's where i think one yeah. of the games peter he won one over and uh, kelly kelly bowl more yeah, so, yeah, and even yeah. hardy bowl well yeah hmm. yeah so you can either go with kelly if you place if not if aaron hardy aapko lagta hai bowling karenge i think aaron hardy or matt kelly could be a very differential option i am trying to give you a very jaimata the option from perth because the option from stars is uh, ncn bhaiya uh, because he bowls in the middle overs i still expect him to be used up top ek over and thoda end ki taraf ek over and he can always contribute with the bat so i think he could be a very handy maybe bowler captain choice but handy vice captain choice is both of them तो एंड या ऑल थ्री ऑफ एंड होम करो तो ये तो ये ये इनसाइड्स ऐसे आते हैं व्हेन यू स्टार्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट पीपल डिफरेंटली तो या आई थिंक फिल्टी कॉमन ऑप्शंस है विद अ बैट आई थिंक योर मेजॉरिटी डिफरेंशियल्स विल कम फ्रॉम लार्किन कार्टराइट व्हिच आर द बैटर्स हु स्टेप्स अप एडम लिथ कौन सा गेम में चलेंगे पता नहीं बट एक कोई गेम आएगा उनका तो दैट इज द रिस्क विद दोस गाइस बट वर्थ इट इफ यू फील दे विल कम गुड always try them in multiple combinations because there it's just a small difference of one player or two player who could really get you a good price yes absolutely and the only parting message that we'd like to give you is if you saw the travesty and the difficulty with how we had to even leave the spinners in this game so ensure that yeah. you play this one on fan to play because here's the yeah. only place you'll get the luxury to go with just two batters and make sure that you participate in the fcp investment leaderboard I know that the first rank has gone way ahead suddenly, <laughs> so make sure that you catch up there. And even if you don't, second to fifth are still getting prizes. So yeah. ensure you participate, and just till the thirty-first, just the last two or three days. So ensure that yeah. you maintain that rank, stay in the top five. If you've not downloaded the app, download it right now. Link is in the description, and two hundred percent bonus on your first deposit. Mm-hmm. So don't wait. and all the good luck to you have a great set of games and tell us in the comments who your gl picks for this one yes and hit that like button you know what it does see you absolutely <laughs>